Seeds Move by Robin Page A tiny seed can one day become a flower, a fruit, or even a giant tree. Every seed, big or small, contains the beginnings of a new plant. But a seed needs sunlight, soil, water, and an uncrowded place to put down roots. To find all these things, a seed must leave home. It must move. A seed hitchhikes. Spiky, stick-tight seeds snag in a raccoon's fur and hitch a ride. They may travel a long way before they fall off. A seed shoots. A human touch, a passing animal, or a gust of wind. The slightest jostle can send exploding cucumber seeds shooting from their pods. A seed catapults. When the right time comes, the hanging seed pods of the touch-me-not flower burst open, catapulting seeds in all directions. A seed drifts. A coconut, the huge seed of the palm tree, drifts on the ocean. If it is lucky, it will wash ashore and land in a perfect spot to become a new tree. A seed burrows. Attached to a bloodroot seed is a tasty tidbit that ants love to eat. The seed tricks the ants into dragging it to their underground nest. There the ants eat the snack and then bury the remaining seed. A seed rolls. One kind of African grass seed looks and smells just like the droppings of an antelope. Dung beetles eat animal droppings, and these seeds fool the beetles into rolling them back to their underground homes, where the seeds can begin to grow. A seed sinks. A lotus seed drops from its pod and sinks to the bottom of a pond. There it will nestle into the mud and sprout. A seed hides. A western scrub jay collects an acorn, the seed of an oak tree, and carries it in its beak to a distant place. The jay then hides the acorn to eat later, burying it in the ground. But the jay forgets where it puts some of its acorns, and those seeds may become new oak trees. A seed floats. Monkey ladder seeds drop from their huge pods, landing in the water below. The seeds float on rivers, even across seas, until they take root on faraway shores. A seed squirts. The durian is one of the orangutan's favorite fruits, but its seeds are bitter. The orangutan eats the fruit and then squirts out the seeds. A seed scatters. The spiny mouse nibbles on the fruit of the tallyweed, but the seeds of this fruit taste terrible, so the mouse spits them out, scattering them all over. A seed falls. An unlucky mouse eats a wheat seed, then gets snatched up by a hungry hawk. After the hawk eats the mouse, it coughs up a pellet that contains the mouse's fur and bones, along with the undigested wheat seed. The pellet falls to the ground where the seed can sprout. A seed parachutes. When a milkweed pod splits open, it releases hundreds of seeds. Each tiny seed is attached to silken threads that parachute in the wind, carrying the seed far away. A seed plunges. The seed pod of the red mangrove plunges into the water. The pod will drift away, then settle to the bottom of the marsh and put down roots. A seed helicopters. 
the seeds of a young Nah tree helicopter spinning as they fall. They often end some distance from their parent tree. A seed plops. Throughout the summer and fall, a hungry brown bear eats mountain ash berries and other fruits. As the bear wanders in search of more food, the undigested seeds plop out inside large piles of the bear's poop. And then a seed grows. We also help seeds move and grow. Farmers and gardeners all over the world plant seeds. You can too. Try tucking a watermelon seed into the soil. Then water it and see what happens. And grows. And grows. The end.